Yeah, Marlon Gray joins us now. Moises Lou is with us. How are you? Good. Good to be here. Yeah. I, I, it's a special day for Marlins from all generations, but uh, from your class, so to speak, your year, it's probably good to see all the fellows. Very good. Uh, the first time uh, that Bill Beck called call me, I jumped at the opportunity to be here and get a chance to see uh, my ex teammates, uh, my friends uh, from 97. And they, we act like it was yesterday that, that we saw each other. So we had a great team. As a matter of fact, I was telling a couple other wives uh, out there that that's why we won because we were like a family. Yeah. Boy says, what set that team apart in your mind? What made them? Other than obviously good baseball ability, was there something else that set that team apart from others you played on? When when you have a, a bunch of players coming in from different teams, uh, it takes a while uh, for everything to click. And for the Marlins, it did it did. Uh, but I think around June, July, we were like you, you used to see guys going out to dinner together, guys going out together, more guys, more guys. Uh, uh, in June, the more guys in July, and um, right center, and it's going to fall between Worth and Ankiel. Here comes Morrison, and the Marlins are on the board. In the sun, Rick Ankiel and Jason Worth looked at the ball, and then looked at each other, and then looked at a double. Yeah, just simply a matter of not communicating well enough, or being unable. To communicate. I'm not sure if Ankiel lost that ball for a moment as we'll take another look at it. Now Moises on us our Gunther drive of the game. You could tell us about playing in the in the sun out in this place. It's not easy, is it? It's not easy. And I, and I play right field here a couple of games in ninety seven. And I play some when I when I came here as a visiting uh, player. It, it's not easy. And uh, as a matter of fact, it, it, it looked like it, both of those guys they were hoping one of those guys were gonna call for the ball. <laughs> So Gabby gets a, a gift RBI double and the Marlins are on the board for the first time today only their second hit both of them by Gabby. Well a much needed run here comes Peterson now. And the Nationals bullpen starts to stir. Remember Peterson ended the game last night against a lefty with a walk off home run. Voices that that series ender with Edgar delivers the hit. And we're going to have a um, David Johnson is going to make, get, make his way to the mound, and we'll have a pitching change. Moise Salou joins us. Now we've had some of, of your mates from the '97 World Championship team. Al Leiter was a guy that said Darren Dalton was a, a big piece. Have you seen Dutch today? And is that true? That's true. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was going to say that myself. Uh, we saw. Uh, he, he, I saw him last night. I saw him today. He's here, and it was great to see him. He when he first came to the team, he had a team meeting, players meeting in, in Cincinnati. A guy that was only, he was only, I, I think it was his second day with the team. Had a team meeting. And say, he said, "Come on, guy, let's go. This thing is here's like a country club. You have the masseuse, you have everything, <laughs> but I don't see the result like it should be." So he was he was a, an inspiration for everybody, and the fact. To see him sitting down after every game with eight bags of ice on both of his knees, I mean that make that made you there he play is. harder. Let's touch on the left, of course. And Moises, what I started to say before the pitching change was made that when Edgar delivers a base hit, Council comes home. That moment almost freezes in time. Do you almost wonder how to react in a situation like that? Good play by Desmond, but he won't get anybody. Infield hit. When, when a World Series ends. You dream of that moment, but do you really know how to react until you're in that moment? I remember I, I went to the clubhouse because we weren't scoring when, when I was in the in the dugout. So I, I went to the clubhouse to get a drink or something, and we got somebody on base. So I said, let me let me stay here so we can maybe get some runs. And when Edgar delivered that hit, I just remember my my spikes and the cement sparkle coming coming off my spikes, <laughs> and I'm trying to get. To the field and jump on everybody. That that, mo that moment is the, the highlight of my career. Brett Hayes is going to hit against Burnett. The Marlins have runners at the corners. It's a one-run game now. And Burnett misses down low. So Davy Johnson got the lefty-lefty matchup he wanted. 
Peterson has delivered two big hits against lefties. Last night's game winner and the base hit here. And now it's Hayes against the lefty with a large crowd who has enjoyed themselves immensely with everything that has gone on starting to get into this ball game. That's a strike to Hayes, although Hayes, I don't think, was too happy with the call. 21. Boy says in that 97 World Series, you know, you had such a great series. Was there one moment for you other than the end of that series when you know you're a winner that stood out for you? Um, I hate to speak about what I did in the series, but I remember when I hit the home run of uh, Hershiser uh, in Cleveland. That was uh, it was snowing, snowing earlier in the game, and I remember he threw a, a pitch close to me and kind of upset me a little bit. And for me to hit a home run off him to tie the game or, or to go ahead, I don't remember very well. That was a, one of the greatest uh, moments of that series. You guys beat Hershiser twice in that series. Hayes down the left field line, and that one's going to peel foul and get into the bullpen. That was sort of like if we can go to the other World Series moment in, nine, in 03 when Roger Clemens dusted Miguel Cabrera and Miggy got up and hit a home run. So very similar in the two Marlins World Series. Yep. I guess a Latin pride. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> One and two to Brett Hayes as the Marlins and Nationals shut the door on Sun Life Stadium. Gabby Sanchez is at third base. Ryan Peterson across the diamond at first. And Burnett is one and two on Hayes. Fastball in. Two and two. Moises, any quick thought on the hiring of Ozzy Guillen? I think this is a perfect situation for uh, for both teams, uh, for both the team and Ozzy. I'm sure you know Ozzy being from Venezuela. Uh, Ozzy being here and before. This is like the same thing that happened to me in '97 when they were signing all these free agents, and I, I, I was getting scared because I thought they were going to run out of spaces or money to, to <laughs> sign me because I wanted to be here because I, I live an hour and 45 minutes away in, in the Dominican. I wanted to be part of this team, and I'm sure it's the same feeling for us. You know, he wants to be in Miami, where there's a lot of Venezuelan. He's close to Venezuela. And uh, also the, the team moving to a new stadium, and I'm sure they're going to have a better team. Breaking ball, a soft little ground ball out towards second, and a flip to first in time by Espinoza. Moises, it's great to see you. Thanks for coming back and being part of this day. 